But when God speaks to our hearts, it's to bring real, positive, constructive change in our lives. Mm -hmm. And then that work change into my heart. And, and, and of course, the, the moment, the, the beautiful thing about it is the moment you realize it and you confess it mm -hmm. and you're open and honest, mm -hmm. then there's this great wave of forgiveness and cleansing that takes place that you know you're not in the pit. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, the voice of the Spirit, when God speaks to your heart about sin, it's always to lead you to repentance. And yesterday, um, today is whatever day it is, but <laughs> yesterday, um, I normally try to get up in the morning and have a time alone with the Lord just so I won't mess up the rest of the day. And so, but yesterday I got up and uh, just was kind of hitting the floor running and it was midday before I sat down and just had, had my time alone with him. And I was just, there was so much going on. I thought, I am so tired. And I thought, boy, I'm just blowing it, Lord. And mm -hmm. I, I need to hear from you. And I turned to Proverbs. I tried to read Proverbs, which I guess was the second and I was reading it, and uh, I mean, it was exactly speaking to mm -hmm. what he was telling my heart. You need just to, mm -hmm. I've got things under control. We're, yeah. you know, we're in a good place, and you're, I, I'm just going to be good to you. And I just started weeping. I thought, Lord, you are so faithful yeah. that uh, you just speak to my heart. Because if I'd read it that morning, I might not have ministered to me as mm -hmm. much as it did that later that day. Yeah. So I think even in my thinking, I've got to get up and have my quiet time before. You know, the Lord says, well. I'm working it all out. So I'm, I'm grateful to him that he speaks to me so powerfully through his word. And I think that's a key uh, yeah. element in my life is this yeah. year is just to, not legalistic, but just to spend that time in his word mm -hmm. and let, you know, to hear from him. Yeah, um, you, know, you know, a lot of these things are, 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 are not new. <laughs> from generation to generation to generation, they've been so. And... Um, uh, it's, it's the old that renews us and makes us new, mm -hmm. which is kind of a neat mm -hmm. thing when you think about it. You know, we, we draw from old wells, from deep wells mm -hmm. that never run dry. They're the rivers of living water. It's, it's, it's those rivers that were there last year are, are, are here for us this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, they, they, they well up in us and, and uh, they're able to flow. So, mm -hmm. um, you, you know, I, I think of that and, 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 Boy, I'm, I am just so excited about this year because um, God did something last year and it's, it's carrying on, mm -hmm. but I, I need to stay in the flow of the, the river, mm -hmm. that, that water that's flowing in me and, and make sure that uh, I'm just walking with Him. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, Sammy, because I, I think the turn, you, you, you've got to get from the past to the present to the future. Right. I mean, you've got to get to the future. We, we need to be looking as we come into this year <laughs> Eventually, I mean, it's the sooner the better where we're able to focus on what the Lord would, would have in mind for us to, to come. And I think that there, there's a real study in, in how the Lord uh, took some things out of your distant past, even before you, mm -hmm. you didn't know any of those relatives and, and right. you had to read about them, find <clears throat> out about them, but how he has taken something from your past. He gave you revelation, gave you understanding of some things there, but, but he set you on a course mm -hmm. that has just ignited your future, and yeah. and I, I the, the, somehow we need to be able to talk some about that too. That it may not be that the Lord is just going to dump uh, a self-contained blessing in your lap, and that's all it is. It may be that He 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 instigates something, or he, he He initiates. Maybe that's the word, an embryonic something. That if you'll keep walking with that dream, He's He's o opening your mind. He's turning pages in some things, and it and it carries you into. In, into a whole uh, new direction and new perspective for the rest of your life. You, know, yeah. you, you, you live out these things that have been shown to you. You keep, and you were, you were back over in Louisiana doing research coming up to New Year's <laughs> Day. I mean, you know, it's, it's, you think, okay, Sammy, you know, when are you gonna, when's that in you gonna be satisfied? But you keep plumbing the depths of that and it's carrying you into the future. The, um, um, there was something, a verse that you, that you spoke to me the other day or uh, we're, you were reading about the 1857 revival. And by the way, this year, mm -hmm. 2007, mm -hmm. is the 150th anniversary mm -hmm. of the great prayer revival, uh, the last great nationwide movement mm -hmm. across our land uh, took place 150 years ago. My prayer is that mm -hmm. uh, uh, we'll see uh, a, another move of God's spirit. But you were reading a little book about that and there was something about Digging, you said, Sammy, that's what you're doing. You're digging up. The the author was talking about 
uh, going back and reviewing the history of that great revival because it was digging up those old wells. The wells. Right. Yeah, and uh, that where God has worked. And if we will, uh, you know, God's done in all of our lives. God's done some things. Mm. And, 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 you know, what happened with me, I think, this year was God had done some things that I didn't know about. Right. You know, I mean, uh, there were things that he had done, and, and, and you know, the, the truth is in all of us, there's things that God has done that yeah. none of us know about. Yeah, I had a, a couple at church say to me, the, the man said to me, you know, boy, he had praying parents, and the, the wife said, uh, I don't know of anybody, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with me. But the truth is, in all of us, I dare say, there's somebody who prayed right. for each one of us. Mm. And, and and prayer is is the private place, so we may never know. Yeah. But God has done more. He's put He's put us on somebody else's heart. You know, God's done so much more than you know. We don't see in the spirit uh, mm. all that He's done, but He's done some things. But uh, as we dig up what He what we do know, and what He reveals to us, uh, boy, it gives us the impetus to move forward we, we've got a we've got a close and we'll let's pick this up and talk about okay. this a, a little bit more next week and maybe we can uh talk about some uh, as families how we can right. be renewed as as families Good. but uh david why don't you pray that uh, god would just bless everyone who's listening that 2007 would be a year of, of spiritual renewing uh, the inner man being renewed well that is that is our desire and we believe that is your desire that though the outer man perishes, though we get older, though there may be things physically that, that we're having to adjust to simply because we're growing older chronologically, thank you that you have said, it is a timeless truth, that your heart is to daily renew our inner man. Yes, we receive that, Lord, is truth. Yes, I pray Lord. that around this world where this broadcast is going, that the believers who are listening will be able to say, yes, Lord, I receive your promise mm -hmm to renew my inner man. It's not yes. up to me to do it. I won't know where to go or have the power to do it, but, but Lord, I receive your renewing yes. by the power of your spirit. Whatever form you want that to be in, however you choose to bring it to me, I receive your promise yes. this day to renew my inner man. Though my outer man perishes, my inner man is being renewed. Lord, we, we just believe you to do that around this world, literally around this world, that 2007 would be a year where believers, the, the inner man, the inner woman, yes, will be found at that place of a wellspring of fresh life coming from a source that's mm -hmm. not in this world. It's not from humanity. It's coming from the Spirit of mm -hmm. God that we're being renewed to face each day in the joy of the Lord who is our strength. Thank you, Father. Bless these ones, these dear ones who are listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I thank you for just being a part of this broadcast. And if you'd like to know more about what we were discussing about praying for your family and the, the, what God birthed in my heart this past year, go to pray, www.prayingforyourfamily.com, www.prayingforyourfamily.com, and you'll find some things that I believe will be helpful to you and to your family. God bless you, and we pray that this year will be the best ever.